why he's staying in the starting lineup, and that's why the Huskers have been so successful. Wade Drago wins the tip for the Huskers, and we have basketball here at Pinnacle Bank Arena. Dustin Stortzum joined alongside Buzzy Carruthers. Cam Mack on the drive, nice feed, down low to the low block. Ivan Wade Drago puts up a punny, and it's no good. Rebound goes to Marlon Stewart, who recorded a double-double in the win against Northland College. That was great execution by the Huskers on that first play coming out. We all know that Coach Hoiberg uh, has great uh, draw-ups coming out of timeouts and out of the first half. And a steal from Thor Mjarnison. Here come the Huskers down the other end. Sean Burke with the basketball, swinging it back outside to Cam Mack. Nice ball movement here on top of the key for the Huskers as Hanif Cheatham pulls up for two and hits it just inside the three-point arc. It's a good sign for Hanif hitting that shot early. He's the guy that if he sees it go in, he's going to gain confidence. Top of the key is Stewart getting double teamed. Wade Drago goes back to the low post. Brown in the corner, nice three-point shooter. Stewart over to Walter, bounce pass down low. Nice feed back outside, three-pointer for Stewart is up no good. And the rebound goes to Wade Drago, tipped away as it goes into Hanif Cheatham's hands. Almost a turnover by Wade Drago. He's got to squeeze that ball and chin it every rebound, secure it, and outlet it. Cam Quick Mack go. with the basketball, had the mismatch, and that's going to be a goaltending call. Cam Mack had the mismatch on top of the key. Able to work it to his advantage. One of the fastest point guards in the country. Certainly is, Dustin. And that's something that Coach Hoiberg emphasizes. If they see if, if they see a mismatch, if they get a mismatch out on the floor, they want to try and expose it. Brown in the corner. Jab step now drives. Swings it back outside. Stewart with a pump fake. He'll now try baseline. Allen Eikens with the basketball now. Great help defense right there by Thor. And then Deshaun just switched to his guy on the X out. Brown driving on Cheatham, gets it stripped away by Thor, able to get it back and put up a shot in time. It's no good. Offensive rebound to Walters, and he puts it in for two. That actually looks like it should have been a kick ball, Dustin. It got kicked around down there for a second, but the refs didn't call it. Maybe they didn't see it. Cam Mack, Tom Vicky with the basketball, gets a screen from Wade Drago, driving back outside to Cheatham. And we have a foul called. It's going to go on number 23. Keenan Walter, excuse me, that's going to go on Allen Eikens, number 34. So Cam Mack will inbound the basketball here for the Huskers. Throw this one out to the top of the key, Cheatham. Mack looking for the screen to his right. Nice bounce pass down low to Wade Drago, who slams it home for two. They're starting to... Build a little something in their pick and roll game. Cam Mack and Ivan Udrago. And they didn't get the first pick and roll on the first play, but that one was textbook. Stewart guarded tightly there by Thor Mjarnison. Allen Eikens feeds it down low to the big man. Rebracha getting double team, looking for number 34. Allen Eikens down low, gets stripped away. Here's Deshaun Burke. Burke now drives. Trying to find Wade Drago, he actually swings it back outside to Cheatham, who puts up a shot. It's no good in an offensive foul called on Hanif Cheatham. And see, right there, I'd like Hanif to shoot that basketball. If, if, if Cheatham can he – hit, he hit one earlier right from that same spot. That's a great catch and shoot. It was a great pass. You know, don't try and get too much more, see. Looked like he had a nice look from three, too. He did, and he's a lefty, too. The, the defender was on his right side. So just let it fly, Hanif. You, let one, you, you hit one already. See if you, if you can heat up early in the game. He's not too far away from 1,000 points on his career as Stewart puts up a three-pointer and he hits it from deep. And he's got the green light, Dustin. He's going to shoot whatever shot that he wants. His coach doesn't mind it. And he's, the, he's what makes this North Dakota team go. So the Huskers cannot let him get going early. Here's Wade Drago backing in on Rebracha. Wade Drago gets it to fall. It's a big-time move by Wade Drago. He's been working. He's been in the gym. Didn't come in uh, an offensive threat, but he's becoming one as, as the season moves forward. Marlon Stewart with a missed three-pointer. Deshaun Burke the other way for the Huskers. Driving baseline on Stewart. Puts up a floater. It's no good. Missed all of that one. And the Fighting Hawks coming the other way. Walter to the corner. Allen Eikens thought about pulling up for three. Decided not to. Here's Brown, 
Good three-point shooter, Deshaun Burt guarding him. Swinging it to Rebrancha. One of their best players for the Fighting Hawks, and he gets the left-handed touch to fall. Rebrancha is a skilled post, very skilled. Uh, will throw a lot of fakes that you just saw. He came out the spin move with the fake. You have to stay down on him. Deshaun Burke on the drive. Sean is up, no good. Offensive rebound goes to Wade Drago, and he gets it tipped away by Billy Brown. And coming up with the basketball is Keenan Walter. And Drago's got to keep that ball high. You Typically on, on an offensive rebound, if a big gets it and it's not an immediate layup, put back, tip back, you want to spray it out to the three-point line. To Walter for three, and it's good. So the big man gets a three-pointer to fall. And he can shoot. 57% of his shots are from three, Dustin. This is a team that does not shoot the three ball very well. 258th in the country as here's Wade Drago down low. Working on Rebrancha, and the right-hand hook will not fall short off the front of the rim. Got to finish that one. Got to finish that one. That, that may be a little. And we have a foul called. It's going to be on the floor. That may be a little bit of tire. He may be, that was like a tired miss right there is what I like to call that, Dustin. 14.45 to go here in the opening half. It's the Fighting Hawks 10. The Huskers 8 will be right back here on BTN Student U. You wouldn't expect these two teams to meet up too, too often, so usually that's a coach's favor when you get team scheduled on there. Throwing this one into the backcourt. Now Stewart will walk this one across half court. Fighting Hawks leading the Huskers 10-8. Expect a lot of double teams on Stewart. He's their, he's their main guy as a three-pointer is thrown up. It's no good. And Gervais Green, who's missed a couple games, finally back as he comes off the bench. Nice feed down low and right away. Putting an exclamation point on his return. Nice feed down low to Kevin Cross. It looks like Gervais has great pop right now. You know, he feel, feels really good about being able to get back out on the floor with his, his guys, his teammates, and... Looks like he's playing with some great pop and energy from the start. Walter, bounce pass down low. Rebrancha gets it to fall. Right there, Kevin Cross just got buried entirely too much. You cannot get buried that deep against a 6'9", 6'10", kid. It just it makes it too easy for him to score. Cheatham dribbles to his left, hands it off. Thorm Yarnison back to the top of the key to Cam Mack. Thorm Yarnison pulling up for three, and it's short off the front of the rim. And it goes out of bounds and will be fighting Hawks basketball. Maybe one of my favorite names, North Dakota Fighting Hawks. Fighting Hawks, not bad, not bad. I wonder if they have a kind of mascot. Is it, you know, do they have a real, uh, <laughs> the, you know how some, right, yeah. some, some schools have the real mascot, some have just the, you know, the, uh, the costume mascot. Danielson checking into the first time for the Fighting Hawks as the drive by Brown, feeding it back outside. Allen Eikens, step back, three-pointer over Gervais Green, and he gets it to fall. And a team who doesn't shoot the three-point very well is on fire from deep early on. And that's usually how it goes, Dustin, teams. And the shot is not going to count. They're going to call the foul on the floor. You can Husker fans not liking that call. You can have the worst three-point shooting team, the worst free throw shooting team, and for some reason, if that's what you tell the the, the, the team that you're your your team that you're coaching, somehow <laughs> the other team always starts to make threes, make free throws. Kevin Cross with a missed shot, offensive rebound goes to Cam Mack, and then he's called for the travel. 13-02 to go here in the first half as the Hawks leading the Huskers 15 to 10, checking in. For the uh, Fighting Hawks is number four, David Alta Bowers. Some crazy last names on this Fighting Hawks team, so. I'm going to leave them, <laughs> a, a lot of them to you, Dustin, <laughs> a lot of them to you. You know, but talking about mascots, you know, I know the Nebraska team likes to call Charlie Easley the Cornhusker. He had a nice <laughs> box out the other night against Purdue, by the way. Big time He's box out. The big time box out. It. A legal screen call. It should have gone Kevin viral. Cross. It almost should have gone viral. <laughs> no, seriously, because guys his size, sometimes they feel like they can't box out guys bigger than them. Take a look at this illegal screen here called yep. on Kevin Cross. Definitely illegal. So a seven-point lead here for the Fighting Hawks. Looking to upset the Huskers. Coming off a win against Northland College, where Stewart had a double-double 
As here's a shot by Robracha. It's up no good. Rebound goes to Gervais Green. The Huskers will take shots like that from the big dog. And again, Gervais Green finding Kevin Cross down low. He hits the shot. Count the foul and one. Again, like I said earlier, Gervais Green is playing with great pop right now. Look at that feed. That's the second time that Gervais Green has found Kevin Cross down low. What a great finish by Kevin Cross, too, who's, who's improving as the season goes on, too. He's becoming more physical and boxing out better. And just, you know, sometimes you have those growing pains with freshmen. And one free throw is good. And that's something Nebraska did pretty well against Purdue was shoot from the free throw line. And to be honest, rebounding as well. They only got re, uh, out rebounded by about four, yeah. I believe. So. And that's a team with a seven-footer, the big guy, 6'9", six, 6'10", six, six, who's a beast in there. Arguably one of the best rebounding teams in the Big Ten. Certainly. Charlie Easley checking into the game for the first time. We just talked about him a little bit ago. Allen Eikens with a drive, and that ball goes behind the backboard out of bounds. It'll be Husker basketball. So I'm telling you, put a little, put a hat on Charlie Easley. He's the, he's the corn Husker mascot. <laughs> Charlie Easley with the basketball right now. He can shoot from deep. Got a nice touch from downtown as Kevin Cross trying to find Gervais Green on a cut. And it goes out of bounds and a turnover for the Huskers. 11.56 to go here in the opening half. It's North Dakota leading the Nebraska Cornhuskers 17-13. Gervais Green to Sean Burke and Kevin Cross. Alta Bowers with the basketball right now. Hands it off to Rubracha. He's going to see a lot of playing time. You will not see him on the bench very much this evening. Alta Bowers guarded by Kavas. Walter top of the key. Back to Alta Bauer. He'll now drive baseline on Kevin Cross. Swings it back out. Stewart will pull up for three, and it's short. And coming down with the basketball is number 15, Danielson. And another chance here for the Fighting Hawks. Huskers have to rebound that basketball, find somebody, hit somebody, and secure the ball. Three-pointer on the way. It's up no good, and a foul is going to be called on Danielson, Brady Danielson from York, Nebraska. We take a look at this foul again as Danielson going up for the rebound against Gervais Green. Yeah. He's, he's flying around, Danielson. He's very active. He was in there on that first offensive rebound as well. Played at York, wanting to show out for his home state as Charlie Easley on the drive. Back outside, the big man Kevin Cross pulling up for deep, and it's no good off the front of the rim. Rebound goes to Stewart, and now Stewart looking to go maybe coast to coast. He swings it back outside to a wide open man. It's no good by Danielson. Offensive rebound again, though, going to the Fighting Hawks. That's three offensive rebounds, Dustin, in, in two possessions. Rebracha down low. Basically triple team right there by Kavas, Cross, and Easley, and he gets the shot to fall. They were in a scoring drought there, a little over two minutes. Here's Deshaun Burke, working on Alta Bauer, swings it back to the corner. Easley will now drive. Nice ball movement here by the Huskers. Deshaun Burke in the corner for three. It's no good, and the rebound goes to Danielson. But like you said, Dustin, great ball movement. That's what the Huskers need more of right now. They've come down in some of the previous possessions, one pass or even no pass, and just tried to, to get their own. But the Huskers are best when they're moving the ball and moving without the ball. Ivan Wade Drago, Cam Mack, and Thorirthrum Yarnison will check back into the game for the Huskers. Cam Mack coming off that triple-double, first ever recorded triple-double in men's basketball history. Yeah, what a feat, Dustin. That's... That's unbelievable. Danielson, nice feed to the high post to Rebracha. Rebracha now screening for Stewart. Nice feed into the corner. Walters will now drive. Pull up, jumpers up, no good, and the rebound goes to Mack. Cam Mack driving, working on Rebracha, and he gets it to fall for two. A lot of contact right there. I don't know if the ref... Uh, felt like they had principle of verticality, uh, but the, the North Dakota players' hands wasn't, weren't necessarily straight up. So, Walter to Stewart. 
Seen Stewart with the basketball a lot so far in this first half, and a foul is called on the floor. It's going to go on number 11, Deshaun Burke. Nebraska 0 for 4 from the three-point line so far. 7 of 15 from the field overall, so not bad shooting from there. Not too bad. It, they need to see a three-pointer go in just to get a little bit of confidence. Stewart working on Thorm Yarnison. He's a good defender, but that does not matter as Stewart gets the two to fall. Stewart's got seven points right now, and we still have a lot of time left in this first half. Foul called on the floor. That's going to go on number four, Alta Bowers. Checking into the game for the Fighting Hawks, Billy Brown will check back in. Urbana Vicious will also check back or check in for the first time. They call him Big G. <laughs> Big G. That's his nickname around North Dakota. That's a good nickname. I like, I like that. It. Not bad. When you have a first name like Gratatas, <laughs> Big G works. Yeah, right. <laughs> Six foot seven, 225, 227 pound freshman. He's a skilled forward, stretch four. Um, he wants to get deep, deep post catches down there and just get easy baskets. Panoam also in for the first time for the Fighting Hawks. Here's Burke on the drive, and he gets to fall over Brown for two. Great extension by Burke on the finish right there. I like to call that a long layup. Walter, top of the key, passing it to his left. Allen Eikens with the basketball over to Panoam. I know him double team top of the key. Nice defense there from Thorm Yarnison. Not bad. Cam Mack got stuck on a big down there, but they were uh, easily able to quickly switch back. Walter driving to the elbow, and it's stripped away. Here's Deshaun Burke all alone, and he'll slam it home with two hands. And the Huskers within two. Couple, couple good defensive possessions by the Huskers here. Penoam. Swinging it to his left. Nearly stripped away, and Deshaun Burke nearly coming up with that basketball. And the ref is going to say it is out on Deshaun Burke. We'll take a look at this one again here. I don't know, Dustin. It looked like Deshaun Burke hustled down there, got on the floor first, and then knocked it off of uh, the North Dakota player. So 21-19, 7.59 to go. We'll be right back on BTN Student U own missed shot so I mean he may miss something around the basket and then he's able to get his own rebound and put it back so that definitely contributes to some of those double doubles that he's that he's had. Allen Eichen's able to keep the basketball alive here for the Fighting Hawks and now he'll drive put up a shot it's no good and a shot clock violation called on the Fighting Hawks. Nice defense there from the Huskers. Great defensive possession right there from the Huskers that's how you want to come out of a timeout. Cam Mack brings this one across the timeline. Stewart picking him up. Let's see this ATO that Hoiberg drew up. Thorm Yarnison working on Walter, and he loses control of the basketball, goes out of bounds. That's tough. And a turnover for the Huskers. Checking in for the Huskers is Hanif Cheatham. Hanif closing in on 1,000 points for his career. Yeah, he could easily do it this game. He said it's, he's got to take the open shots that he gets, not necessarily think to to drive it all the time. Just let the game come to you and make the simple play. Stewart, top of the key. That was a great hedge by Drago right there on the ball screen. Stewart looking to his right, coming off the screen is Allen Eikens, who's pulling up for three. It's no good off the front of the rim. And the Huskers coming in transition. You see how they bottled up Cam Mack right there. Number three came over and loaded to the ball. Oh, Woo. Thorpe Yardison with a nice move, but Walter able to come back on the play. And he blocks the ball out of bounds. They call that whips, Dustin, with the whips. With the whips. Yeah. <laughs> Basketball terminology from an insider. <laughs> Here's Deshaun Burke with a drive. Shot is no good. Offensive rebound goes to Wade Drago. And he is fouled. We'll go to the line for two free throws. 21 to 19. The Fighting Hawks leading the Huskers. And 
take a look at this foul again. Deshaun Burke put that first shot up. It was no good. And then Wade Drago with the offensive rebound. And he gets fouled as he puts up a shot. So two free throws coming up for the big man. 17 years old. Will not turn 18 until after the Big Ten tournament. He doesn't look like he's 17. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you. We've discussed this before, Dustin. I'm surprised that the football team has not <laughs> said one word to Ivan Drago. And the first free throw is no good. If I was one of those coaches, I would definitely shoot my shot, as they say. <laughs> I, I would shoot it. I'd say, hey, man, you know, you're good at this, but uh, you might be able to make <laughs> – make, make a couple blocks. Yeah, you might be able to help us out a little bit too. You may, each – I mean, his feet are so well and his hands are so well. It, maybe you put him at a tight end. Maybe, <laughs> maybe he plays the offensive side. 0 for 2 on the free throws is Wade Drago. Kevin Cross looking to check in for the Huskers. Allen Eikens to the top of the key. Walters guarded by Cheatham. Cheatham pump faking. Now gets the ball back, dribbles to his left. Nice great. ball movement here by the Fighting Hawks. Also great, great defense by the Huskers, though, as well. Here's Stewart. Pull-up jumper with three on the shot clock. And <laughs> that was cold right there. That was a tough bucket right there. Mack, top of the key. Swinging it to his right. Cheatham now with the basketball. Mack calling for the screen from Wade Drago. Now dribbles to his right. Looking to the corner. Thorm Yarson wide open. Three pointers. No good off the back of the rim. And Stewart coming down with the rebound, but it's stolen away by Mack. Mack, corner. Cheatham, pump fakes. Now double teamed. He's able to swing it back outside to Mack. Mack calling for another screen to his left. Here's Mack, three-pointer over, Stewart's good. Right between the eyes from downtown, and the Huskers are within one. When Cam Mack gets a catch and shoot in rhythm, he's usually pretty good. He's usually pretty good, and he's got a great chance of making it. That was a great catch and shoot in rhythm shot for Cam Mack. Walter backing in on Cheatham, back outside. Rebracha, a wide open three-pointer. Anything you can do, I can do better, he says. And right, it's back out to a four-point lead. Right there, Ivan Udrago was not supposed to leave. He was not supposed to go double. Mack dribbles to his left off the screen from Wade Drago. Husker swinging it around. Cheatham driving. Baseline on Rebracha. Shot is up. No good. The rebound goes to Walter. And here come the Fighting Hawks the other way, trying to find Allen Eikens. Not a great pass down low, and he steps out of bounds. So a turnover for the Fighting Hawks is... Kevin Cross Jr. and Mate Cavas will check back in for the Huskers. 4.54 to go in the opening half, 26-22. North Dakota leading the Huskers late in the first half. And the Huskers are still struggling from three. Cam Max three was the first of the half. So they would like to probably see a couple more go in before halftime. Kevin Cross fighting down low, cannot get the shot to fall. Stewart swinging it to the corner. Alta Bowers pulls up for three. It's no good. Rebound goes to Cavas. Here's Cam Mack. Working on Allen Eichen. Swings it back outside. The three-pointer from Cavas is up and in. That's a good sign for Cavas. He is not shot it particularly well but like I said before I, I, I'll always continue to say this confidence is the biggest factor when shooting the basketball here's Stewart driving down the middle of the lane and a wide open layup Stewart seems unstoppable right now he's getting whatever he wants the, the, the Huskers have to do something uh, to slow down his momentum because right now he's got 11 points in the first half on five of eight shooting as well. Very efficient. Cavas outside. Cam Mack, open three. Pointer from the top of the key is no good. Rebound goes to Alta Bowers. Fighting Hawks will slow it down. 3.30 to play in the first half. I'd look, they're probably going to look for a little high-low action. Right there it goes right there with the duck in for Rebracha. And we have a foul. Off the ball, it's going to go. Oh, I'm not sure who the foul's on there. On Kevin Cross. He's got him with a hold. 
So Nebraska starting to hit from deep, but they still trail the Fighting Hawks 28 to 25 with 3.17 to go in the first half. We'll be right back on BTN Student U. Um, throughout these past few games. Doesn't have any points so far today on 0 of 3 shooting, but expect him to heat up later on this basketball game. Certainly, and he's had some good looks. He just, they just didn't fall, so. Top of the key, Rebracha with the basketball, looking for Stewart as he swings it to his right to Alta Bowers. Alta Bowers down low to Allen Eikens, who puts the turnaround shot up and in. Eikens caught a, a mouse in the house right there and a the, the smaller defender and just put him underneath the basket. And got an easy two. Mack, bounce pass to Wade Drago. Wade Drago backing in on Re, uh, Rebracha. Right hook up, no good, and the rebound goes to Rebracha. He's done a very good job down low so far for the Fighting Hawks. Rebracha already eight points. Pretty good defender is from deep. Yeah, it, it, and like I said before, he's been a great glue guy, one of the only returners to come back this year. And it's just, uh, you know, uh, you know, what, what's the what's the phrase they say? Icing on the cake. Yeah. If he's yeah. able to hit threes, and that's something that he's doing, and it has helped the Huskers enormously um, throughout these past few games. Doesn't have any points so far today on 0 of 3 shooting, but expect him to heat up later on this basketball game. Certainly, and he's had some good looks. He just, they just didn't fall, so. Top of the key, Rebracha with the basketball, looking for Stewart as he swings it to his right to Alta Bowers. Alta Bowers down low to Allen Eikens, who puts the turnaround shot up and in. Eikens caught a, a mouse in the house right there and the, the smaller defender and just put him underneath the basket. And, Got an easy two. Mack, bounce pass to Wade Drago. Wade Drago backing in on Re, uh, Rebracha. Right hook up, no good, and the rebound goes to Rebracha. He's done a very good job down low so far for the Fighting Hawks. Rebracha already eight points. Pretty good defender as well. Yes, very long. Danielson. Looked like he traveled right there, Dustin. On the drive, the runner will not fall. Offensive rebound to Rebracha. He's the only Fighting Hawk player down low. Was able to get an offensive rebound, but cannot get the second effort to fall. Here's Gervais Green on the drive. Swings it back outside. Cam Mack, three-pointers up and no good. Rattles in and out. The Huskers caught a break on that possession with Rebracha again. His best shot is usually a rebounding his own miss. And right there, he got... His own, his, he rebounded his own <laughs> miss and just wasn't able to convert. But he's somebody that you have to put a body on. He's going to be doing that for the rest of the night. So you have to put a body on him. Here's Kavas throwing up a three-pointer. It's blocked away. Wade Drago gets it back for the Huskers. 18-14. to 14, The Fighting Hawks are out rebounding the Huskers right now. It's a point of emphasis for Fred Hoiberg. And a travel called on Mack. Corner, the, the Huskers are not playing together right now, Dustin. The, there's, there's no little bit. Still early in this basketball game. Plenty of time to go. but Right, I, I would agree. But like you said, plenty of time. And there's no doubt that both of these teams, Dustin, are, are probably looking at this Christmas break, the, these next few days break that they get. Rebracha called for the travel, so a turnover for the Fighting Hawks. Gives Nebraska a chance to get back within one possession here. That's that's always the hard thing going into these games right before break, Dustin, because granted, these kids love playing, but they also love their break when they can right. get one. So Here's Gervais Green. Nice feed down low to Wade Drago. Kicks it back outside, back in the corner. Rebracha guarding him. Mismatch down low for Wade Drago, and a foul called. Not bad, not bad recognition. Um, seeing that Udrago had Stort on him, the smaller defender, gave it back to him. Stort gets a reach and a foul. So that foul is going to go on Marlon Stewart as he checks out of the game. Penoam will check back in for the Fighting Hawks. Wade Drago to the free throw line. 
0 for 2 from the line so far. It's been another struggle for the Huskers all season long has been the free throws as though 1-1 one one is up and good for the big man. Tell you what, Ivan Drago's stroke is starting to get better and better. Uh, he's been working on it. I don't know if he'll ever be able to shoot threes. But uh, the improvement that I've been able to see um, from the beginning of the season to now uh, is a vast improvement. Two for two on the free throws, and the Huskers are back within one possession with a minute to go in the first half. Penoam, top of the key, swings it to his left. Nice ball movement here by the Fighting Hawks. Rebracha working on Wade Drago, swings it back outside. Now back to Rebracha, and that right finger roll goes in again for Rebracha. He is. Rebracha is cooking. Him, him and Stewart are cooking right now. They're the only ones. And a nice drive by Mack on Penoam beats him to the rim for two. That are actually beating this Husker team. If they can find, if, if the Huskers can some, somehow find a way to, to slow those two guys down, uh, they can get back in the game. But right now, I mean, they're getting in everything and anything that they want. Look, look at Vibracha just fighting. Vibracha almost triple teamed as they swing it back outside. Walter for three, and he gets it to fall. Big three pointer there for. Walter makes it a six-point game with six seconds to go. Here's Mack on the drive. Mack shot up, no good, but a foul is called. Like I said earlier, Rabracha is a very skilled big man, and he knows how to pass out of those double teams. Take a look at the drive and the foul called. That goes on number 11, Penham. That is his first foul, 3.9 seconds to go here in the first half. You know, the other question is, with Rebracha and Stort, you know, will tiredness, will will that come into play um, in the second half? Will they be worn down from doing so much? Uh, so that's something to look for going into the second half. Thorne Yarnison will check back in here for the Huskers with four seconds to play. Rebracha's played 19 minutes, so need one minute of rest. And the second free throw, looking to go one for two from the line is Mack, and he does. Four seconds to go. Here's Penoam with the basketball. Swings it down court. Alta Bowers pulls up a three-pointer, and it's off the back of the rim. And no good. And heading into halftime, it is the Fighting Hawks leading the Huskers 35-30. to 30. And what went right for North Dakota in the first half? Well, I think they went to their go-to guys, Rabracha and Stort, both with double-digit scoring. And, uh, you know, with the double teams coming from the Huskers, uh, they're spraying it around and getting good. Th had two, Thorne Yarnison had two, and Jermaine Green had the two to Kevin Cross. As the second half is underway here at Pinnacle Bank Arena. The no, Fighting Hawks with a five-point lead. Another interesting stat, too, from that first half is that North Dakota didn't get to the line one time, Dustin. There's zero for zero from the, from the free throw line. Walter with a missed three-pointer. Here come the Huskers in transition with Cam Mack. Mack top of the key. Pass it to his left, Cheatham looking baseline. Deshaun Burke pulling up from a corner three. It's no good. And the ball gets tipped out of bounds and will stay with the Huskers. Nice job by Wade Drago. Let's get in there and tip that ball off of Rebracha. That was a very heady play by Drago to Youngin. Mack to inbound this basketball. Gets it in to Cheatham. Cheatham looking for the screen from Wade Drago. He now feeds it down low. Wade Drago backing in. Got a big advantage body-wise over Rebracha as this shot won't fall, but Deshaun Burke gets the offensive rebound and gets the two to fall. There's a little bit of that energy and, and playing hard that we just got done talking about, but it has to continue. It can't just be one play. Brown in the corner, guarded by Thorpe Yarnison. Stewart, who had a big first half for the Fighting Hawks. Swings it outside. Brown pump fakes, drives elbow back outside. Stewart, three-pointers, good. They're just moving the ball. They're, they're moving the ball and catching Nebraska in long closeouts. And when you can catch a, def a defense in long closeout situations. Um, Foul called down low. It's easier to score the ball. Sorry about that, Dustin. I was watching. You're all right. <laughs> watching. Hey, Drago, take that <laughs> drive right there. Take a look at this one again here. Foul's going to go on 
for Brancha. And right now, Dustin, I don't like how the Cornhuskers have come out offensively. It's still been a little bit of one-on-one -on -one methodical stuff. They've got to do a better job moving the basketball. First free throw is up and in for Wade Drago. He was 0 for 2 on his first two attempts and went 2 for 2. 3 of 5 so far tonight as his sixth free throw is up no good. 38-33. Brown has it right now. A little UCLA cut into a back screen action. Stewart, top of the key, guarded by Cheatham. Pass it to his left. Brown looking around, finds Walter on the high post. He'll now drive on Thorne Bjarnason, and the shot won't fall. It looked like they were trying to get the ball into the bucket. Great bucket right there. It looked like they were trying to get the ball into Rabracha right there on that last possession. Uh, but the Huskers did a great job defending that cross screen down there. Allen Eikens, top of the key, guarded by Burke. The Husker fan base getting into it now. Here's Stewart. Feeds it to the corner, a wide open. Allen Eikens for three, and it's no good off the front of the rim. Here comes Cam Mack in transition. And a one on two, trying to find Cheatham on the bounce pass, and it goes out of bounds and a turnover for the Huskers. And what did you say, Dustin? A one on two. A one on two. Sometimes, if you don't have it, value the possession. Value the basketball. Especially, particularly in, in, in a time like this where you're down three. Um, for the start of the second half. Walter, guarded by Thorm Yarson, hands it off. Brown, three-pointers on the way. It's up no good. Missed all of that one. Off the backboard, Mack with the rebound. And here come the Huskers. Mack swings it back outside to Burke. Burke calls the screen from Wade Drago. He'll now drive on Allen Eikens, and the layup is up no good. Rebound goes to Rebracha. When, you, when you're making a comeback, Dustin, you have to make layups. You have to make the easy baskets that, that are given to you. Just as you say, make a layup. Stewart puts it in for two. Makes the score 40-35 to 35 again. Here's Thorm Yarnison. Outside, Cheatham dribbles to his right off the screen. Spin around layup is no good, but a foul is called, and he'll go to the line for two. That was a nice tight spin in traffic. Great move by Hadif Cheatham right there. It's a tough move right there. It's going to go on Allen Eikens. Could have called that foul on Rebracha as well. Rebracha has two fouls as the first free throw is good. And getting to the free throw line is something that the Huskers have done a good job of all year. Right now they've got ten attempts um, to North Dakota zero. So free throws could be the deciding factor in this game as we go down the stretch. Two for two on the free throws makes this a three-point game with 16 minutes, a little over 16 to play in the ball game. Wade Drago tips that ball away, and Cam Max going to pick up a foul there. Just no need to reach right there. You just... I mean, that's a tough call. That's a tough call looking back at the replay, but... You don't, you don't have to. You, you, you did your job. You got the guy to go backcourt. Now just play solid and sound defense. Here's a corner three-pointer. All to Bauer. Up no good. Rebound goes to Wadrago. Here's the Huskers in transition with Cheatham. Cheatham to Mack. Stewart guarding him. Mack is the only Husker in double figure so far this evening. Thorm Yarnison. Pump fakes. Now drives and a foul is called on the floor. It's going to go on Walter. A good take by Thor, Thor Barnyanerson. You know, with him shooting the ball so well, it's going to open up driving lanes for him. And Thor's a skilled player that he can put it on the floor, as we saw in the first half with the behind the back move, and he can get to the rim. Way Drago, baseline, working on Rebracha. Shot is up and good. How about Way Drago down low today? Way Drago is, he's doing his thing down there. They, The Huskers have done a great job getting him the ball and just giving him opportunities to score. And like I said earlier in the first half, you know, he's not a guy that came in looking to be a, a, a scorer, but as the season's going on, he's gotten better. Walter, another three, and it seems like right when the Huskers get within one possession, the Fighting Hawks hit a big three-pointer. 
They're back up four. Here's Mack on the drive, working on Stewart. Nice feed, down low to low block. Wade Drago's shot is blocked away. Offensive rebound goes to the Huskers. Here's Burke on the drive. Feed down low. Wade Drago cannot get the bunny to go. Wade Drago's got to dunk the ball right there. And a steal. The first opportunity, maybe you didn't have a dunk. The se that second opportunity right there, just go up strong and dunk the ball. Three-pointer from Hanif Cheatham looked good from here when he, when he released it. It's off the back of the rim, no good. Fred Hoiberg still upset over that missed bunny from Wade Drago on the low block. Here's Walter. Wade Drago's a little tired. He, he, he needs a rest right now. Stewart on the drive and a foul called. He got the media coming. And 14-44 to go. In the ball game, it's the North Dakota Fighting Hawks 43, the Nebraska Cornhuskers 39. We'll be right back here on BTN Student U. Been like this since halftime. It's a yeah. five-point game at half, and it's remained that. It seems like when the Huskers pull within a possession, North Dakota hits a big-time three. Yeah, yeah. Momentum and energy, Dustin. Nice move there from Deshaun Burke on Billy Brown. Gets the shot to fall. It's back to a three-point game. I like how North Dakota hasn't ha hasn't shown any panic. You know, like you said, the Huskers have got it to within one, but North Dakota has stuck with their their stuff and hasn't shown any any panic at all. Here's Stewart working on Thorpe Yarnison. He'll drive, lost control of the basketball for a second, and that was a near turnover as Sean Burke nearly intercepted that basketball, but goes out of bounds. Will stay with the Fighting Hawks. Seven seconds to go on the shot clock. Looked like Stork kind of lost the ball on his initial drive. That's why he kind of. Stewart's three up, no good. Rebound goes to Thorpe Yardison. Tough shot to take from Stewart as the shot clock was winding down. And we have a foul, offensive foul off the. Yeah, it's that's illegal. That's illegal. You, you, you cannot turn your back and roll. Uh, in, in ball screens anymore. Here's Danielson, three-pointers, up and good. Right between the eyes from downtown. Danielson hits a three. It's a six-point play right there, Dustin. Turnover to a three. Thorm Yarnison trying to answer back. It's no good. Rebound goes to Stewart. Under 11 minutes to play in the ball game. Walter looking to check back in for the Fighting Hawks. Mate Cavas also looking to check back in for the Huskers. I noticed Thor, Thor has different shoes on from the first half. You notice that, Dustin? You see that? I did not. You you pay a lot closer attention to that than <laughs> I do, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, he's. those are not the same shoes, so maybe he's. Take a look at this foul again. Stewart on the drive. Right now, Dustin, it's just too easy. He's getting to the rim whenever he wants to. The Huskers have got to do a better job of bottling him up and keeping him from splitting the gaps, those driving gaps. You have to get over and help position. You just make him pass the ball. Get over and help position, make him pass the ball, and then you have a better chance uh, of defending when the ball's not in his hands. Obviously, he's he's the guy that makes them go. So if you get the ball out of his hands, you're going to have a better chance. Stewart's second free throw is good. Two for two on the free throws. But So what kind of uh, shoes does... Thor, where are they red? What color? So are he they? had on he had on a pair of red, all red Adidas <laughs> before, and these have white on them. So wow. one and three from Cam oh. Mack, as you say that. That was a big time shot by Cam Mack. If you notice, Cam Mack shoots the ball better off of the dribble. I think he's he's just able to get a rhythm better when he dribbles the ball um, into a shot. Stewart, top of the key, guarded by Gervais Green. Now dribbles to his left, tries to swing it back outside of Storm by Kavas. Here comes Cam Mack. He does not have the numbers, but he gets to the rim and draws the foul. We'll go to line for two. That wasn't bad right there. I know we talked about when you don't have the numbers a, a second ago, but he saw a little crease right there. And then usually if you don't have the numbers, Dustin, in a situation like that, when you are in a one-on-two, usually smart players will choose one guy to go at. And usually you can draw that foul. Um, if you're crafty enough, like Cam Mack. That foul is on Brown. Three fouls for Brown. He will head to the bench. 
big time three point shooter. Been held fairly quiet today. No point at all. 0 for 2 from the field, no for 1 from the three point line as second free throw coming up for Cam Mack is no good. He left it short. And Stewart comes down with the rebound. It's a big possession right here. Okay, got back. It was going to be. I, I thought they may have taken the transition three. And the you got to get on the floor. floor. You've got to get on the floor. With the basketball, Walter, a three-pointer's up and good. Right between the eyes from downtown. Walter, it's a big-time shot. It's now a seven-point game. You've got to get on the floor right there, Dustin. Toughness plays. That's what wins basketball games. Here's Cheetah. Dive on that ball. Cam Mack, top of the key, working on Stewart. Gets the screen from Kavas. He'll now hand it off. Kavas throws it back outside the green. Ten on the shot clock. Here's Green on the drive, on Rebracha. A lot of contact, no foul called. And we have a jump ball between Kevin Cross and Walter with 9-10 to play and three seconds on the shot clock. So let's see what the Huskers draw up here. Going to have to be a quick shot. It may be. I think it's going to be a, a quick, maybe pin in for Kavas. Mack gets it in. Green puts up a contested three-pointer. It's up and good. Wow. <laughs> wow. It seems like Gervais Green, when the Huskers need him most, he gets a big-time shot to fall, and I, I, what a roll. I agree. He, he, he's been – he's got that clutch gene, you know. And that's good to have, especially in situations like this. But the Huskers need to stop, bottom line. Stewart driving on Gervais Green, goes right by him to the rim for two. That's just too easy. Too easy, Dustin. You've got to show some type of resistance because he's getting whatever he wants right now. Mack, top of the key. Gets a screen to his left from Kavas. Mismatch for Cam Mack right here. He'll drive, gets it stripped away. Allen Eikens coming up with a basketball. Brings this one across half court. Let's see if he works on Cheatham here. He will. And the easy roll goes in for two. Time no out. resistance again. Like Hanif Cheatham, foul him. You have to foul him right there. 61 to 53, 817 to play. Allen Eikens puts the Fighting Hawks up eight. We'll be right back here on BTN. Guys right there. Um, so to, to have a triple-double in college is, is already a feat in itself. People don't understand how hard it is to get a triple-double in college. You see them often in the NBA with guys like Russell Westbrook and Luka Doncic and, you know, LeBron. But – it's very, it's so much harder to get one in college just because you don't have the elite talent that those NBA guys have. Mate Kavas for three, a big time shot again. When it looks like the Fighting Hawks are starting to pull away, Nebraska able to hit a three to keep themselves in it. It's a five yeah, point game. They needed that by Kavas right there. That was a big time shot. It's a player the Huskers need to take more threes. He's a sharpshooter from downtown. Here's Walter back outside, Allen Eikens. Swinging it around. Penoam now with the basketball. Rebranche has been fairly quiet here in the second half as he puts up a right hook. It's no good. And the rebound coming down with it is Kevin Cross. And they're going to look to go to Rebranche for the rest of the game. He's battling down there. So. Mack driving. Nice speed down low. Kevin Cross cannot get it to fall. And we have a foul called. Kevin Cross shaking his head. He thought he was going to hit that shot. 7.21 to play here in the ball game, and the Huskers will be going to the free throw line as we take a look. Long seven minutes, um, and as I noted before, fatigue may be a factor, but it doesn't look like he, it's wearing him down at all. He's still down there just fighting every post possession. So I look for him to get the ball more and more, especially uh, with him having 13 points. Second free throw is no good for Kevin Cross. I would have made it a one possession game. 61 57, 7 15 to play. Looks like the Huskers are going zone. They're in the 2 3 right now. See if it disrupts North Dakota's offensive flow at all. And Walter throws this basketball away. Looks like so it, did. it did. Looks like it did. Turnover for the Fighting Hawks. This is an opportunity for Nebraska. 
Every possession from here on out, Dustin, is very important for the Huskers if they want to make a comeback. And just as important for North Dakota, they have to value the ball, take the time down on the shot clock. And Cheatham gets it to fall off the backboard for two. Back to a two-point game. And the Husker crowd now getting into it. Stewart, top of the key. Bounce pass to his left. Allen Eikens with it, top of the key, working on Deshaun Burke. Walter down low. Back outside. Stewart, three-pointers up and no good. Offensive rebound goes to Walter. Nearly gets it stripped away. Allen Eikens on the drive. Shot up, no good, but a foul is called on the floor. I don't know how many times I've said rebound to Dustin. You have to gang rebound. Everybody has to get in there, especially when you're in a two-point game like this. And North Dakota's just doing their job. They're doing what they, they, they've been doing all year. Nebraska actually out-rebounding North Dakota 30-27, to 27, which is seems quite surprising, to be fair. That's a stat that... I looked at there for a second and thought my eyes were wrong as here's a three-pointer <laughs> by Rebrancha. It's up no good. So an opportunity for Nebraska to either tie it or take the lead. Here's Mack outside the Cheatham. Keep the ball moving, Huskers. Mack on the drive, working on Stewart. Shot is up good, and you have a tie game with 5.45 to go in the ball game. Timeout. Allen Eikens, top of the key. Back to Stewart. Let's see if he's the one with the basketball. He'll be taking the shot on you this possession. You know he is. Driving. Shot is up. Good. Count the basket and the foul. Have yourself a night, Marlon Stewart. Take a look at this. Drawing the contact from Kevin Cross and gets the right hook to fall and one. Just as we said it. You know, three-point play right here. Opportunity for Stewart. Just a... Uh, a tough finish right there by Stewart. Like we, we spoke about earlier in the game, he's a guy that has been on this stage before. He's not afraid. He's a vet. He's been here. It, it's, it's nothing new to him. Kevin Cross goes to the bench with four fouls. So Wade Drago will check back in for the Huskers. And one free throw is good, makes it a three-point lead. Huskers need to answer here. I know we talked about the crowd. How about this crowd? What a great turnout for, you know, school to be out. And, I mean, it's it's packed. Mack on the drive, swings it corner. Cheatham pump fakes now will drive on Stewart. Shot is up and good. And Hanif Cheatham, when you need him most, is coming through for the Huskers. Nebraska's going to go back zone here. They need to keep it more tight. Allen Eikens, top of the key, working Watch. on Mack. Stewart looking for a screen, swings it to his right, or his right, excuse me, and Allen Eikens from way downtown gets another three ball to fall. That's not what he is known for. He's capable of shooting them, but it's not what he's known for. North Dakota, before this game, is a big three-pointer for the Huskers again, and as I was going to say, North Dakota is 258th in the country in three-point percentage. Wow. But wow. the Huskers able to answer back. They're shooting 39% right now. Here's Rebracha down low, getting double teamed by Max. Swings it back outside. Alta Bauer now drives. Back out to Stewart. Seven on the shot clock. Cheatham guarding him. Driving. Floater. And the runner's up no good. And the rebound goes to Wade Drago. Nebraska with a chance to take the lead with 3.55 to play. Great shot offense right here for the Huskers. Mack on the drive. Nice feed down low. Wade Drago, the 17-year-old, puts a shot up, and it's no good. Not a bad move right there by Ivan Drago, though. I know we've discussed it before. Just go straight up. Don't lean back. Herbrancha working on Wade Drago, backing in. Working on Wade Drago, puts up a shot, and it's good. It's good defense from Wade Drago, just a better shot from Rebracha. You're absolutely right, Dustin. I mean, you couldn't get a tougher bu bucket. Cheatham, driving, Cheatham, floater, up, no good. Rebound goes to Rebracha. 
Very important defensive possession right here for the Huskers and a very important offensive possession for North Dakota. Rebrantra has been on the floor all night, and you can see he is tired right now. Mm -hmm. Here's a drive, baseline, swinging it back out to Stewart. 2.50 to go in the ball game. Shot clock down to nine. Stewart. Oh, wow. Eikens, three-pointers up, no good. Rattles in and out, and the rebound goes to Mack. Deshaun Burke working on Danielson. Gets the screen to his left. He now drives on Rebrancha. Shot is up and good, and it's a one-point good. Great take by Deshaun Burke right there. <laughs> I think Marlon Stort just tried to ask for an official timeout. Go get the oh, Wow. He's, he's tying his shoe, and we're, the Huskers didn't pressure <laughs> at all. So he gets a shoe tight in time with 14 seconds to go on the shot clock. <laughs> Getting double team, top of the key. Allen Eikens down low, Rip Racha. Swing it back outside, and that's a turnover. 2-0-2 to go in the ball game, and a turnover. For the Finding Hawks, we'll give Nebraska the Corn Huskers, and the Huskers will have possession of the basketball. And let's see what Coach Hoiberg has, what he drew up in this timeout. This is what he does. ATOs. Cam Mack with the basketball. Brings it across the timeline. Here's Cheatham. Back outside Mack, working on Stewart. He'll now drive. Swinging it back to Sean Burke, now working on Alta Bauer. He throws it outside. Kavas for three for the lead right between the eyes from downtown. And Nebraska has the lead. Wow. What a great find by Deshaun Burke. Tough pass. Take a look at this one again. Deshaun Burke, wow. he had no idea where Kavas was there. He knew he was in the vicinity, <laughs> right. but perfect pass. Looks like they're reviewing whether it was a two or a three, and it was a three. What a shot from Kavas. This is a guy we, we've talked about a lot, that he needs to shoot the ball more when he has the opportunity, and he's done so today. Yes, this might be Mate Kavas's coming out party. If he's able to continue this, in the games to come, the Huskers become more lethal from the three-point line. Stewart guarded he, closely by Cheatham. Mate Kavas is four for four from three. He's 100% from three this game. Stewart back outside. Walter, the big man, pulls up for three for the lead, and he missed all of it. Offensive rebound. Allen Eikens gets fouled, and the basket counts and one. Take a look at this one again. Allen Eikens gets the offensive well, rebound and Mack with a foul. And you see right there, like Deshaun Burke has to wedge Eikens out of the play right there. You have to wedge him out. I don't care if you box him out all the way into the stands. This is winning time. You have to pay, have, pay attention to detail, and you just have to want it more. And the end one free throw is good, so the Fighting Hawks now have the lead with 1.22 to play in the ballgame. Cam Mack, top I, of the key. I would look to get Kavas something. Here's Wade Drago down low. Back outside, Kavas, another three-pointer. It's up, no good, he left it short. That's his first miss from deep, but an offensive rebound goes to Wade Drago, keeping the possession alive. And a foul called. Alta Bauer picks up the foul. That it's is like one and one here, Dustin. And like I said before, it, it may come down to free throws. Walter checking back into the game for Danielson. This is where Nebraska has struggled the most throughout the season is free throws. They're 9 of 15 today. Short. And he left it short. One minute to go. Got to get a stop here if you're the Huskers. And you, we already know who's going to get the ball and who's going to shoot it. I don't think... Anybody? Oh, wow. Three-pointer on the way. It's up. No good. Offensive rebound goes to Walter, and he puts it back in. Again, boxing out. You just have to want it more. You have to be more physical. That's what Eikens does. Mack 
wow. right between the eyes what from downtown. Shot. What a big time shot. Not only did was he able to get that off, but now they're able to get a two for one right here. They'll have a few seconds to get a play. Uh, looks like they'll have maybe about three seconds. Um, three to tie things up, 74-74. So the Fighting Hawks. Most likely are going to run the shot clock all the way down. Right. And take a tough shot. Right. It'll leave Nebraska with about three seconds to get down the floor um, if they want a chance to either tie things or win the game. Well, the, the, other, the other interesting thing right now is what will Nebraska come out in? Will they come out in man or will they come out in zone? Or will they even do a uh, zone switch to man, you know? So that will be important to, to look at as well. How about Matai uh, Kavas off the bench today? He's been big time. We've talked about him in the past, about him just seeing the ball go in. And once he gets to see it, like I said earlier, confidence is so key for shooters. And it looks like he's got that. And going forward, if he's able to continue to produce like this, like I said, it's, it's going to help the Huskers in the long run. 74, 74, 26 seconds to go. And if you're the Fighting Hawks of North Dakota, who do you go to on this possession? Uh, I'm certainly going with Stort. Um, I was surprised with the last possession that they had when the uh, – I'm not sure if that was Brown maybe or uh, – I think, I think it was Brown who shot that corner three. Double-digit scoring tonight. Multiple weapons they can go to on this possession. Yes. They may duck in uh, Rebraca, Rebracha or – just go straight to Stort and clear it out. And it looks like Stort is going to get it clear. Uh, they, they've drawn something out. 17 seconds to go in the ball game. All of this may be line. decoy, though. This all may be decoy stuff. Here's Stewart, double team. Alka Bauer, corner. Oh, he traveled. Here's a drive. Shot is up, no good, but a mm. foul called with 7.3 seconds to go. That did not look like a foul, Dustin. I'll tell you that right now. Let's take a look at this again. Tough to see from that angle, but a foul was called nonetheless. Who was it on? Who did he call it on, Dustin? Was it Cam Mack or Ivan Udrata? That is on Cam Mack. Okay. So three fouls for Mack as the first free throw is in. Danielson checking into the game for Walter and a timeout for Coach Fred Hoiberg. 70. Allen Eikens, that that's looks a like tough, a lot of ball there. It's a tough call, and, you know, these – these referees, you know, sometimes you just got to swallow your whistle and let it play out. North Dakota, 6 of 7 from the free throw lines. The second free throw, he left it long. Nebraska has a chance to win it with five seconds. Deshaun Burke with three, with two, for the win. Deshaun Burke is up, no good, and the game is over. North Dakota Fighting Hawks come into Lincoln, Nebraska and beat the Nebraska Cornhuskers 75 to 74 in a game that was back and forth all day. Yeah, uh, just a, a great showing by North Dakota. They came out from the jump with more energy. They came out playing harder, and uh, the end result ended, ends with a W. So kudos to North Dakota for, for doing what they were supposed to do.